Uterine fibroids are a benign muscular growth in the uterus. Benign means non-cancerous. Fibroids are the terms given to the tumors that are made up of fibrous and muscular tissue. Fibroids are due to estrogen hyperstimulation of the muscular layer of the uterus over time. 60% of African American women by the age of 35 have fibroids. Caucasian women, it's 40% by the age of 35. So on average, about half of all women develop fibroids by the age of 35, and that incidence actually increases as they get older up to menopause. After menopause, there is the decrease of estrogen stimulation and the fibroids either stabilize or shrink in size. Most common symptoms associated with fibroids, heavy bleeding, up to 60% of women that get fibroids develop heavy bleeding that is cyclical in nature. The second most common symptom is pelvic pain and pelvic pressure. The most common of those symptoms from the pelvic pain side is the need to urinate frequently due to the fibroids weighing down on the bladder, not allowing the bladder to fully expand. The diagnosis of uterine fibroids are usually made with non-invasive imaging such as ultrasound and MRI or CAT scans. Typically, when a patient goes to a clinic, they are complaining of bleeding or pelvic pain or urinary frequency. The first step would be to get an ultrasound. After you see a fibroid on ultrasound, that's more of a screening study, you would need to get a more in-depth study like an MRI to fully characterize the fibroids, determine their location, etc. Uterine fibroids have multiple treatment options ranging anywhere from conservative to aggressive. A little bit less aggressive is what's called uterine fibroid embolization, which is what we offer here at ECHO. Uterine fibroid embolization is a non-surgical option uh, to shrink down the fibroids to improve symptoms, decrease bleeding, decrease pelvic pain, and restore a normal quality of life. Uterine fibroid embolization is a subset treatment under what's called arteriogram, which is where using moderate sedation, we don't use general anesthesia for the procedure, you do go home after the procedure. We do a needle stick into an artery, typically the wrist. Through that needle, which is hollow, we thread a wire through it and using x-ray and ultrasound guidance, we guide that long, thin wire into the uterine artery that is feeding the fibroids. Once we cut off the blood supply to the fibroid, it either shrinks it down or makes it go away altogether. Compared to surgery, the recovery is quite a bit shorter. Um, as there's no incisions that we're doing, there's no stitches that need to be removed later. Uh, risk of infection is significantly decreased. Uh, you do take antibiotics for a week after the procedure as well, just to further decrease that risk of infection. Probably the question patients most commonly ask is, how long is it gonna take before their symptoms improve? I always tell patients about a month. You do have patients that have significantly more rapid results. Regardless of when you start seeing your results, you do see continued improvement for up to 12 weeks following the procedure. That is one of the advantages of surgery is that once you've recovered from the actual surgery portion, if it's a hysterectomy, your uterus is gone, those symptoms are resolved pretty much right away. With a hysterectomy, you're also sacrificing fertility, so if you were thinking about having kids, that would be off the table uh, if that route were to be taken. With uterine fibroid embolization, the uterus remains intact. We are just shrinking down the fibroids and fertility is maintained. If you've been diagnosed with fibroids and you've been offered surgery, don't be afraid to ask for other options that are less invasive. Uterine fibroid embolization, which is minimally invasive, done as an outpatient, lower risks, lower side effects, lower complication rates, is as effective or almost as effective as what could be described as a maximally invasive treatment. Always ask physicians for second opinions or at least other treatment options that even they wouldn't offer. You always have another choice.